today we're going to do a demonstration on how to make a bowl. We're going to review the concepts of how to throw a pot. Once again, I'm on the wheel with the separate, um, the separate foot pedal, so I can take it up there and put it close to me so that you can see what's going on. The first thing you're going to do is have your tools and all your things prepared. Make sure that your chair is touching the wheel, and then put your clay, which has already been wedged up, onto the center of the wheel. Too much water will make it slippery and it won't adhere to the wheel. You need it to be just enough damp enough to be like a suction cup. And so, at the center, we're going to have left hand in the hip socket, right hand close to your body, touching fingers back, lean forward, release slowly, clean off the wheel head. Make sure that that's totally on center. Release slowly. Second step, scoot back a little farther. Take your two thumbs and go down just far enough so that your thumbs are still together and you don't have to release your arms from bracing on the splash pan. If you have to pick up your hands to go down in, you need to stop. Third step, take your elbow at your belly button Using this left hand as a platform, you're gonna drop your right hand down. Pull your fingertips back towards your body, and then release. This allows, let me get that booger out of there. This allows for an opening for you to grab onto as you start to lift. And last but not least, make sure to dig a trench in the outside. Makes it nice and kind of simple. Slow your wheel down. Every project that you make on the wheel is going to begin with centering, at least for beginning ceramics, it's going to begin with centering and opening your clay with this step-by-step -step process. At this point, we're going to shoot a little water on, put your left hand inside the clay, your right hand on the outside. My arms and my whole upper body are braced on the splash pan, and I'm going to pinch between my inside finger and my little sponge that's supporting the outside thumb as I lift up. Once again, nice review on how to throw a cylinder. You can take and the second step, try to make sure that your hands are connected as you do your second pull. And because we're making a bowl, you want to leave it a little bit thicker at the top so that as it stretches out, it doesn't become so thin that it wants to crack and tear. You need it to be pretty substantial. Whoops. Anybody have any questions so far? It's pretty much a repeat of everything that we've done over and over. Bowls are the simplest project to make. Most of your accidents will turn into bowls. And so what we want to do is not teach it first because everything will turn into a bowl and you won't be able to make a pitcher or a vase or a bottle. It'll all just become a bowl. So we want now to be able to use something for a rib tool. This is a metal rib tool. This is a CD, which we can also use. Um, there are rubber rib tools. We have wooden ones. We're going to choose maybe to start with. I can show you how to use a rubber rib tool. All about the bracing. This has got a smooth curved edge on one side. It's a very soft, kind of a supple tool. And we're going to stretch the top of the bowl out. And then at any point you can go down inside and lay the rib tool against the edge of the project. Release. So now we have a small bowl. It's not great, but it's okay. Once again, you might want to compact the lip. When we compact the lip, we're running it through your fingers, but I'm not pinching. I'm running it through my fingers and then allow the sponge to just press down over the top of the fingers and then release slowly. Just makes the lip a little bit stronger as we're stretching it out. You don't want it to just get all cracky and break. Now I'm going to take um, the CD, I put my finger through the inside and press down hard and I am scraping or smearing against the clay 
to make a smooth inside. The nice part about these and the metal rib tools is that they dry the clay, they take that slip off and it makes it a little bit stronger. It makes for an okay little bit. You guys have any questions so far? Once again, most simple thing to do. Um, at this point, you could stretch it out a little bit more. One more time. Make sure that every time you use a rib tool, every time you use one hand and you can't have it braced on the splash pen, you need to have it braced with the other hand. That's really important. As soon as you don't have that brace, everything goes apart. Now we consider that done. We have a bowl. How exciting. Take it off the wheel. Same process as always. You're going to take some water out of your bucket, squeeze it onto the splash pan or onto the wheel head, then press the wire down, pull it under quickly. You can either, you can either pour some water onto your bat, and if it fits in here nice and close, you can then just slide it right onto the bat. It's very nice. All done. Thank you.